play how Osorio and Mexico got it right against Germany. 7.20, Sebastian Salazar and Hercules Gomez explained how Juan Carlos Osorio's tactics played a big role in Mexico's defeat of Germany at the World Cup. 7.28.16 a.m. BST MOSCOW, Mexico coach Juan Carlos Osorio has confirmed that El Tri managed to defeat Germany on Sunday despite a flu bug in. The company has hinted that he won't be making major changes to the team for Saturday's Group F match against South Korea. Osorio's team provided the shock result of the tournament so far by overcoming the reigning world champions, 1-0, but Osorio revealed that the Mexican team was not at full strength, we'll give the starters from Sunday the chance to recover not just from the exertion of the game, but also from a small flu that has affected the group, from which almost all the players are now recovering, said Osorio in Monday night in an exclusive interview with ESPN's Jorge Ramos y Subanda against Germany, a number of the players were unwell and that's one of the reasons we took into consideration with the substitutions around the 60th minute Mexico players celebrate Irving. Lozano's goal during the World Cup win against Germany, photo by Federico Gambrini, picture alliance via Getty Images Osorio has been lauded for the way the Mexican side took the game to a Germany team that is considered one of the favourites to lift the World Cup and the Colombian believes the key was El Tri's wingers taking advantage of the space behind the full backs, we know that they were going to come out and play at that basically they would end up with two centre backs in a horizontal line and, balanced to not Tony Cross remained deep to control the game, and the two full-backs moved up into Mexico's defensive third, said Osorio. El Tri is currently preparing for its second match of Group F on Saturday in Rostov against South Korea and although Osorio is known for his rotation policy, the 56-year-old is unlikely to change things too much, with five full days between the two games, I think the debate about rotations is one that doesn't stand up, said Osorio, in Spanish, over the phone. I've stated on many occasions that in the games with points at stake that 7 or 8 players, or even 9, players are always there and against Germany, that was not the exception, I think that when we really analyze it, a team that normally has 7, 8 or 9 regular players shows consistency in its starting 11, he continued. However, there is always the possibility of two or three tactical alternatives, without any doubt, one of the possible changes moving forward in the tournament could be Herving Lozano, with Osorio indicating that the 22-year-old goal-scoring hero against Germany may not have his spot secured for the final group game against Sweden, with Sweden's well-defined 4-4-2, they will leave very little space behind the defensive line, Osorio said, having Lozano at speed is such a influential player, without space when he can't use his speed, we get into the debate over whether we need a winger that can succeed more through craft than speed. I think all that is debatable, there was also some sad news in the Mexico camp. On Monday, with Carlos Vela confirming that his grandfather passed away back in Mexico. The Los Angeles FC player wrote in a message that his grandfather had watched El Tri defeat Germany, the last victory that you got to see, Grandad, Bella wrote on Instagram. I hope you left very proud of me.